So what are we doing today? Defect is on seven. Normal enemies are indeed tougher, but we still need to do the Ironclad and the Silent. And I really, really would like to actually see what the final area looks like. So let's try and get through the Silent now, shall we? She is my favorite, maybe not the fan favorite, but hey, we can at least try. And already you give me an option, meaning I already know what I'm going to be looking at. There, so you're saying there's a chance, but if that chance fails, we die. I like those odds. I always take this one just because it provides such useful benefits by merely existing. I mean, like, several free combats? Of course I'm going to take that. Uh, all of this is unplayable garbage. Except the dagger spray, that's actually really helpful early on. No enemies for once. Yes, I'll get cursed. No enemies again. Relic, 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 relic. Nunchaku. Oh, baby. So it's either going to mess me up at the very last minute, or I'm going to be fine and I... I'm not proceeding. I need the strength potion. Sir, how dare you? even suggest that I don't need it. Get me the cloak and dagger. We're going shivs. Yes! Free elite! Oh, I'd get regret so hard. But there's a shop after another elite and we have a free elite, so I'm gonna desecrate. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt so, so bad. But it's gonna be so, so good. Molten Egg, we get to upgrade our attacks immediately. Too bad we don't get one, but we do get Doppelganger. Is that worth it? I don't think so. It's usually too slow. At the same time, though, having a horrendous turn later is, like, beautiful this early on. We're going with Shivs, because we got Nunchaku. And we can get Crippling Cloud, as that's also decent early on. Do I rest and heal? No, I'd rather Smith. Seven Poison is actually kind of worth it, except if it's a particular boss. I'm actually going to just upgrade Dagger Spray, just in case it is that boss in particular. How'd I guess? How could I have possibly known that it was going to be my nightmare made manifest? I wonder, will I actually be able to kill all three of these without losing too much health? Probably. Dagger spray? Of course not. And we get regrets. Well, this does nothing. This technically does more. I can't kill this one. However, I'm probably going to kill him next turn, so I'm going to start focusing on the other sentry. And I'll eat my 15 damage. Anyway, welcome those who are here on the stream. You are always valued members of the community. Can I kill you right now? Oh my gosh, yes, that was perfect. And we get Nunchaku too, which is completely irrelevant. By the gods, I really, really would like to... I don't know... Maybe at some point get rid of these curses? Maybe at some point actually figure out how the noise gate works on this so you don't have to hear the air conditioner in the background? Maybe not actually get regret for once in my life. All of these things, and more, could be mine for the low, low price of getting rid of this freaking elite that's in the way. Thank you. Sure, distraction's always nice. <laughs> what else do we get? Ornamental fan, perfect for a shiv deck. We have a shiv deck. Um... Who am I facing at the very end? 
facing you. Cloak and Dagger plus plus will make the Shiv deck that much better. And first things first, we are always getting rid of our regrets. Regret is by far one of the worst curses to have. Juzu Bracelet this early on is almost always worth it. Unload. We don't have enough discard synergy for unload to even work. Magnetism is a very, very fun card. And... Noxious Fumes is slow. I want to get something more than Noxious Fumes. Maybe nothing here is actually... Gives me self-healing. And it would be worth it in the long run. Eh. Eh. Well, no, because we always fight humongous fights, so keeping you would be a decent play. And then maybe we can... Since we have so much power already, we'll rest and we'll go try to take on another elite. Wow, all three elites. Perfect. We even have time to set everything up. Just find me the Noxious Fumes, and I promise you, this crab shell will die before anything else can happen. It will wake him up. And so I don't want to do it. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> Not again. There's no game audio. Why is there no game audio? You were doing it just fine before. I hate you so much, OBS. Thank you, Salrock, for actually being one of the people to say something. As always, it's appreciated. We can deep breath. Maybe I'll get a zero drop. I doubt it. And you know what? Let's remove the microphone boost. That I'm so used to having, because every single freaking microphone is its own different beast. So the gain is removed. The threshold has been added. So we have our noise gate. Let's see if you're done actually screwing things up. I can't get rid of it, unfortunately. I'm at college as of right now, and as we all know, college is going to be a nightmare on my soul. That is every present and eternal, and I really wish I could deal with this problem. But instead, here we all are. Definitely panashing, definitely crippling cloud, definitely uh, neutralizing, which gives me more energy to work with. Which I will use to barricade myself in my own little corner. Yeah. Ah, excellent. So, that just means I just don't talk ever. Brilliant strategy. No backfiring at all. Not oh, sure, I could get rid of doubt before I have even bigger negatives than what I'm already dealing with. Yeah, unfortunately I have no control over the air conditioner in the college, which is unfortunate, and I'm just going to have to kind of deal with it. Oh, let's just draw another, maybe I'll be a panic button. <laughs> Ooh, panache kills him. Sweet. And we get Sneko Skull, which I guess... I mean, we're going with a Shiv deck. We're adding so much unnecessary BS to this, but we are going with a Shiv deck. Did we just kill you all? Huh. 
I'll take an infinite blades. Sure, I need more shiv cards. Give me more shiv cards. I don't need to smith, do I? Just rest. Yeah. Because I don't need to play any powers, I just need to kick him to his next phase as soon as possible, which that's relatively simple. Um, don't have any shiv cards right now, so I'll magnetism and then I'll dagger spray. His magnetism is one of those that I'll definitely play early. Ooh. Well, there's the bomb. That is definitely something I'm always interested in. I can't send you to your next phase no matter what I do. So while you are going to hurt, I don't think you're going to injure me from any point onwards. Oh baby, gratuitous violence. No, I'll definitely strike. Well, I fill up my deck with shivs, but I'm always going to have some form of zero drop to mess with. And I get purity, so if I don't like any of this stuff, I can just get rid of it. Neat. Uh, zero drop backflip is always appreciated. Crippling poison, just to ensure that you literally can't do anything. And I'm going to use purity. We're going to get rid of... Defend, Shiv, Defend. We can keep Dagger Spray right now. You know what? I'll get rid of the bomb instead, just because it's so unplayable. And another gratuitous violence for me. How nice. I'll definitely keep you weak. Everything else, it can just kind of stay. I'd take more damage by attacking him than I would prevent by not doing so. I doubt I'll be able to pull off Hand of Greed, but you know what? We'll give it a shot. Maybe, just maybe, in some way, shape, or form, we can actually, you know, hit him with Greed and then just run away with it. Indeed they are, if I could get the Poison Transfer Relic. Oh, you think hiding behind that's going to help you? Aren't you mistaken? The damage piles up, and we pile on. Cloak and Dagger. Defend. Definitely will take a Neutralize. And then we are going to Forethought and put all... Or put a Shiv on the bottom. Thinking ahead, we're going to drop the Doubt off so we don't have to deal with it. And we're going to draw said doubt, discard said doubt, um, defend, shiv shiv shiv, oh, we can't even pull up another defense, oh well. He's at 46, he'll be at even less in just a moment, I just need to get through with him. Or I just need to find a way to Sneko Skull him. Or Hand of Greed. Hmm. I won't be able to Hand of Greed him. Right, I actually have the extra damage. So Hand of Greed did come in handy. Sweet! Even more gold. Well, if you're just going to offer me a Storm of Steel, I just have to take it. This is a Shiv deck, after all. And then, you know what? Get me a Black Star. 
We're filling up our deck, we're filling up our hand, let's just keep going. Greetings, Zenus. Yes, we are here to slay Aspire. And Aspire we will slay in possibly one of our strongest runs so far. And all it took was me taking an absolute metric ton of risks. And we're going to take a lot more, because we're going to go hunting some elites. So, I want to go to the shop. So we are going to go to the shop. Shelled Parasite. Don't like it, but I can deal with it. This is a very slow deck to get started, but once it really gets going, there's not a whole lot they can do to stop us. Hmm. Let's get the infinite blades rolling. Would have loved to take a shiv, but I'd rather take as little damage as I can afford to. Distraction! Distraction! Dodge and roll! Cloak and dagger! Shiv, 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 strike. Bloody shell parasite. If we get rid of its armor and it just becomes kind of a little, little wuss that we will kill off eventually. But until that happens... Wait. Do I just want to shiv this to death? Maybe. Probably not the best idea I had. Oh well. Its shell goes away soon, and now we should be able to kill it. Stop protecting yourself. Just let me kill you. Your armor is so low. Ah, uh, do I definitely crippling poison? Eh. Well. Yeah, I have no need to crippling poison. We could just sit here on our defenses. Oh yeah, no, if Venom comes up, that's definitely something else I'm gonna take. There's accuracy. Are you dead? Pick seven, this is twelve. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, and the plated armor is removed, he gets stunned. Interesting, I don't think I've ever had that happen successfully. It's good to know. There's another way to get me out of that really irritating fight. All of this is worthless, even if upgraded. I'm applying poison just by existing, but I'm focusing more on shiving than I am just stabbing people. Ooh, chosen. Hmm. We'll discard everything instead and we'll just start stabbing away. And you know what, we will drink this just because I don't really feel like dealing with him as of right now. It wastes the energy, but it gets us additional armor, and once again, trying to take as little damage as possible, I'm going to go elite hunting. Okay, well, interesting proposition. Well, he's about as weak as we are. So, we should be able to run away with this fairly quickly. Accuracy, distraction, acrobatics. We'll discard a magnetism because we just can't possibly use it in any meaningful way. Uh, definitely pull up a survivor and we'll hold the line. Now whatever you do, just try to steal strength from me. You didn't try it. Are you dead? You are. I didn't even realize. 
Alright. Buddy Chosen gets killed, and I will definitely take Adrenaline. Everything is coming up. Me. Ooh. Whenever you apply a debuff to an enemy, they take 3 damage. Sadistic Nature is actually pretty good. However... And this is a big however. A Sundial in this deck could let us go infinite just by having enough energy to play all the cards in our deck. Well, one thing that always happens, get rid of Doubt. Doubt being unplayable, I just don't ever want to see it again. Sundial or Sadistic? We're not comboing, though. We're just playing Shivs. Since we're not comboing or playing Shivs, we can do Sadistic Nature just to continue with the whole we eventually kill them plan. And then we'll take an escape plan because, well, an escape plan will invariably provide us with some value. Duplicate a card in our deck. Well, guess what we're freaking duplicating? If you were thinking Storm of Steel, you're wrong. We're duplicating Adrenaline. There is no reason to ever not duplicate Adrenaline when it shows up. You. You are a problem that I don't think I can solve easily, so I'm going to just dump everything I can on killing you in particular. Definitely playing Noxious, then discarding everything else. Uh, hmm. No, we'll defend, and then we'll discard everything else and just start smacking them about. Hate the freaking plant with a passion. Ah, oh, it's only with a debuff. You're right, I should have played Sadistic Nature for the uh, vulnerability. Oh well. You are correct in that regard, at least. Interesting. Poison doesn't count as a debuff. That's weird. No, it does. Okay. This is why I hate this enemy. He is way too difficult for what he should be. Oh well. Gambler's Brew is nice. Endless Agony creates more copies of itself as soon as I draw it, which is kind of worth it. Fighting in Elite right now would be suicide. There is no Elite that I can guarantee that I would not get hit against, so I'm gonna go rest. I do agree, he is easy when he has no strength, but... When you have strength, it's just unfortunately I don't have strength cards as of right now. And I'm gonna rest so I can get some health back, because Jesus Christ. Oh come on! This keeps showing this freaking event keeps showing up. Fine. Adrenaline first. Infinite Blades, Distraction, Piercing Whale, Dagger Spray. Good gamblers, but it's not like there's going to be a whole lot else. Adrenaline again. Gives us Cloak and Dagger, plus Endless Agonies, which means we can start just smacking you about. Both of you irritate me by your mere existence, and I really, really wish you would just die in a fire. Definitely Storm of Stealing, because we're not applying debuffs. Dead. <sighs> Gambler's Brew. 
Get out of here. Do I want the powerful fight with many rewards? I believe the answer here is... Be fighting two gremlins. I do a lot of attacking as opposed to otherwise, and the next one is a guaranteed fight. Let's get the rewards. We gotta risk it somehow. Adrenaline. Sadistic. Crippling. Infinite blades. Dagger spray. We slowly kill them, but I don't think slow is quick enough to be able to put them down. Like the bloody dogs they're supposed to be. I could be defensive. Alright, one risk is what all will take. Will that hurt? not want your weakness to wear off. Oh, baby. This is only gonna get worse. Stop, stop, I'm already dead. Okay. Maybe fighting wasn't. However, we can always go back. I just wanted to see if we could do it. I didn't expect us to actually win. Bloody knocked unconscious thing. Again, showing up, ruining everyone and every little thing we ever possibly do. Because this game just does not like us. Do I, or do I not? I defend. I would like to hold on to my health, but if you're going to force me into a lot of mandatory fights, well, I guess that's just going to happen. kicks in, but you're going to try to make me not attack, which is a horrible choice, really, because you are dead. I guess we're just going to flee because this game just does not like giving me nice things, because you're going to make me fight this guy afterwards anyway. Oh, joy. Now that bloody priestess better try just to heal the centurion. We don't really need crippling cloud. We don't. What I'd actually rather want is just a lot of attacks. However, I can't afford to use both. So, you know what? Let's go with a weird old favorite. And we'll just start letting the poison deal with them. There we go, for once they're actually not doing anything. Amazing. We can even set up all our powers. Nice. For once, everything is coming up me. Nice and brainy. Let me kill you all. Hmm. 
Do I really? No, I don't want chrysalis. Just fine. Draw them all. Why didn't I? Nightmares. You know what? Catalyst. We can just start poisoning up the place. Um, blur. Catalyst on you to double your poison, and then do this to make sure we don't die horrifically just yet. Okay, you're dead, so I don't have to care about you. There come all the catalysts. Flash of steel. Catalyst. 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 Escape plan. Shiv. Cloak and dagger. Shiv. Shiv. Dagger spray. Strike. And strike. Definitely take another Endless Agony, just because it feeds my, into my deck. And can I get something decent? That's actually pretty nice. Do I really want to risk it? I can take a double campfire, and I'll definitely take a double campfire instead of this, because I want to get one Elite, so the Black Star is not completely worthless. You've just had me on the back foot since the very beginning, and you've refused to let go. You know what? Eat it. I want you to die at some point in my existence. In my infinite plan. In my infinite glory. I want you to end your life so I don't have to deal with you, Sir Chosen. Aside from that, can you guys actually hear the game? Like, is the audio actually balanced? I kind of forgot to ask at the beginning of all this, considering this is the first time with this setup here. Fair enough. If it's in line with the usual, then I'm happy. Alright, I'll raise the game audio slightly. There we go. A few percentage points higher. Should be good enough. Alright, let's see if we can actually kill off this bird bastard before it does too much else to me. All of this is worthless. Actually, correction. Backflip isn't. As I said, I am going to rest. I want to get one elite out of this. And congratulations, you are that elite. Bone, do not buzz me at this time. Uh, email notifications from my professors about things that they've just completed. Excellent. I'm gonna drink this. Uh, get me a heal hook, please. You're going to neutralize... Is there my... There is no drawing effect here, so... Neutralize. Heal hook to gain energy. Infinite blades is actually kind of what I was looking for. Dagger spray, which gets me more energy back, giving me time to play accuracy. I'm going to endless agony this guy twice, and then strike again to continue to drop his health, and get me a little bit of extra armor. Too bad I don't have sadism. Would be wonderful. 
Sadistic nature. How oh, nice. Crippling poison. And you're dead. Perfect. Um, definitely backflipping. Definitely distracting. Outmaneuvering is fine. Endless agony, endless agony. Shiv. Get me a little bit more armor, which actually blocks all the incoming attacks. A rarity. Now I took 15 off of this. That actually isn't that bad to trade 15 health for two relics. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, but they're dead. D, E, D, dead. And I'm going to just wait here and let them die to have Nunchaku prepared for the next fight. Oh, God, we got Shuriken. Yes. Shuriken. Finally, get me another backflip. I need to get through my deck faster. And continue being defensive. Hello. Welcome, everyone. Get me an adrenaline. Get me an infinite blades. And let us... You know what? Discard everything. Looking for adrenaline plus something else. We don't find it. Alright, now this guy is one of those that can actually kill me because, once again, am oh so happy to constantly have to deal with this annoying little Sneko whose mere existence ruins runs just on the account that we can't get rid of the stuff that you're constantly sending against us. So good Sneko, if you please just get out of here and let me kill you quickly, I would assure you a place in the heavens. Panache. Shiv. Noxious Cloud. Escape plan. Draw me more. Would be worth it, but I need to discard stuff. Um... Let us concentrate, discard you, you, and why not? Actually, why did I do that play? Because I could have uh, pulled out the distraction at that point, which would have given me more. Oh well. Lose your strength. Storm of Steel. Oh, thank goodness. Get me a Terror. It's the champion. I'm not taking any risks. I want him permanently vulnerable. Alright. Game, can you not give me the Shelled Parasite again? Uh, toss up a defend, and then we're gonna Storm of Steel all this. I am so sick of having to fight the Shell Parasite. It's these mini-boss-style enemies that the game pretends are not bosses. That are so bloody problematic. out another defend, get rid of magnetism, and we'll just continue to sit here waiting. Hopefully these guys will die soon. You're almost dead, that's fine. You should die this turn. Emphasis on should. Will you? Who the heck knows? Bullet time is funny, but no. Noxious Fumes. A second iteration of Noxious Fumes is actually really good. Because it doubles the rate at which I get poison going on our opposition. But I don't think I'll be able to have enough time to play it, but we'll try. Alright. 
Give me all my health back, please, for the love of God. Just, I have no healing beyond what you've already given me. Are you gonna waste your turn? You definitely aren't, meaning I can't. Sadistic nature, thank goodness for zero costs. Distraction, well... I mean, what the hey, if you're gonna give me bullet time for zero, I will definitely take bullet time for zero. It's not like I'm drawing anything else. All right. Well, that's a good turn. Ooh, okay, well. You got my attention. Hmm. No, I want a crippling I want a crippling cloud instead. I want him to be irrelevant. I want to get rid of the expensive cards that I only need to play once. Alright, the champ. You are starting to scare me a little. Just a little bit. Not too badly. He's got some unique sounds. I kind of like them now. Big beef stick. Are you gonna face slap me again? Yep, you're gonna make me vulnerable again. If only I could just reset you now, but I know I can't. Alright, I guess I'm gonna start shanking. Do I just double defend? Yeah. I'll let the poison start dealing with it. Like, none can deny that if he's getting multiple stacks of poison a turn, that will eventually get him. Definitely gonna shiv Storm of Steel, shiv more times than I feasibly can count. Well, aren't you angry? <sighs> Please weaken. Backflip. I don't like this. Please, game. Why would you do this to me? Uh, is there anything I can use to survive this? Maybe. That's 34, right? 17, that's 20... That's 34. Am I dead? No, I'm barely alive. I just, I'm just counting up to make sure I'm not being stupid. One of the best possible runs. I'm not dead yet. Don't ever count me out. Sir Knight, Sir Knight, don't ever count me out. Sir Knight, Sir Knight, please, just go die in a fire. I would love Wraith form, because this is actually one of those decks where I'm setting up a lot of stuff. And at a certain point, dexterity doesn't matter to me. I just can't afford to do it. Although, I'll take Burst instead. Alright, Astrolabe, we'll definitely take you. I'm going to be transforming... ...a bunch of Defends and Strikes. Alright, another Noxious Fumes Plus. That's actually pretty nice. 
Our health is back up to about half, and here we could probably make a small return to hunting elites. So we're gonna go down the left path.